But how long will Jay Johnson let him go will be a little bit of the story tonight. Ground ball right side. Milam can't make the play in time, it appears. They do rule the runner safe. Milam did everything he could. He looks a little bit gimpy as he gets up. St. Paul alum pulling for Anderson. Here's a liner belted into the left field corner off the bat of Dunlap. That is down and bounces against the wall. Schwabe rounds third. Here's the relay throw. It's a good one. Oh. Safe at the plate. Wow. I thought thought uh, Malazzo had him, but he couldn't hang on. It was sort of an in-between bounce. That was one whale of a relay throw by Braswell. It was an aggressive approach with uh, one out. They didn't hold the runner at third. I thought they might and go second and third with one down. Instead, they waved him around. Look, the ball beats him. Malazzo not able to hold it in. The pitch popped up and playable in foul ground. Malazzo is calling for it. And Malazzo amidst White and amidst Anderson makes the play for the second out. Here's Davis Hamilton out of Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. And he hits a very high fly ball out toward Kling in center field. He's got it, and the side is retired. Anderson with that very compact, slow windup, and he issues a walk. But they want to probably get him out of the game early and have him available this weekend. Braswell to second, over to first. 6-4-3. Braswell, Milam, and Jones turn it over. Two balls and a strike. Kling will have another chance. He lopes toward the infield. He's got it. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Travinsky laces it into left field. He'll have to stop it first, I think. Now he's going to try for second. Here's the throw, and it is late. Travinsky rings one into the left field corner. It looked like he might put on the brakes at first, but then he accelerated and made it easily. And Neal is hit by a pitch. That's been a very common occurrence again this year. When he pitches on the outside corner. Malazzo fights this one off, and that drops behind the first baseman. Travinsky will have to hold at third, as will the folks behind him. And Malazzo finds the grass and grabs his eighth base hit. He laces one into right center field. It's going to stay in the air long enough for Garrett Hill to make the catch. Travinsky scores from third base. Brady Neal moves up from second to third. And Braswell delivers a sacrifice fly, which ties the game at one. Tigers are going to try to manufacture a run, and they do. The run has crossed the plate before the out was made between first and second base. How about that? That is some old school baseball. A little first and third play with two catchers on the base pads. That's pretty special. Reese Leitenberg is warming up for North Dakota State. Kling sends this one to his counterpart in center field, and there's out number one. Left in progress right now, and White shoots one deep to right center field. This ball is carrying. Oh, my. Caught by the center fielder. A galloping grab by Caden Schwabe. Hi-ho, Silver. Schwabe catches it on the warning track just in front of the fence by Caden Schwabe. This ball is tattooed way, way back, way, way back. It is up, it is out. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Jared Jones hits one to the opposite field, and the Tigers extend their lead with Jared Jones bombing one out of the ballpark. Now that's Jared Jones' sixth home run of the year, but the most impressive thing, and the thing that will make Jay Johnson the most happy, is he hit it to the opposite field. He stayed on the baseball, didn't try to pull it, and showed tremendous power the other way. Stays back. Doesn't try to open up too soon, and he knew he got it as soon as he clicked on it. That ball finally came down beyond the bleachers. You see the race is on there as Jared Jones whacks one out of sight to the opposite field from Alabama. He pitched at Alabama in the mid-late 80s and then played a long time in the minor leagues. He, dads, his sons are playing college baseball in this North Dakota State team. 
Style cannot come up with that one. The first strikeout from Uyoa. 3-2 pitch. Upstairs, the inning continues. And that hit him. The bases are loaded. First pitch was bearing in on, on Hill, the right fielder. Swing and a miss on a sharp breaking ball. And Lohr comes on to strike out the pinch hitter at shortstop. Neal rams one into right center field. That's down for a base hit. And Brady Neal has been aboard twice now. He's also worked out on the infield. He's on the move. Hit and run going. And the ball takes a funky bounce and rolls into right center field. Neal is going to go to third. Uncontested there as Mac Bingham was able to fight that one off, punch it where he had to in the. There's Malazzo with a chop snared by the third baseman. Comes up firing. Plucked at first. Oh, my goodness. Superbly done by Style at third and Hake another at one. first. Another play by Style. He's got another RBI opportunity here. And he grounds it up the middle. His counterpart sucks it up, throws over to first base. Schaffner, the new shortstop, gets the assist. Braswell rolls out 6-3. And Kling goes down on strikes. And Milam for the Tigers. And White gets a five-pitch pass. He did not swing. They appealed to the first base umpire. So back-to-back -back bases on balls. And he blasts one to center field. Schwabe is backing up. And he's got it three or four steps in front of the warning track. The runner at second base, White. Moves up to third as Milam gave it a ride with two strikes. And the pitch. Right down Main Street, Trebinsky was frozen. He blasts it into right field. It is sinking. It's down. It's off the chest of the right fielder. And the Tigers have scored for the fourth consecutive inning. Brady Neal rips one on a line for the RBI single. He's swinging the bat with a lot of confidence right now. They had the right guy at the plate. A 3-1 count. Didn't get the fastball. Got a hanging breaking ball. But Neal made him pay for the mistake up in the zone. Ground ball takes a big hop on the right side. The second baseman Hamilton is there. The inning is done, but the Tigers get an RBI single from Neal. Bullet. Hake. Rips one into right center field, and it's returned to the infield. Ground ball. Look at Milam. Oh, it's through the first baseman. Somehow that got through Jared Jones. Here comes the one-two pitch. Lower could use a strikeout, and he gets one. He... That's Hake at third base, Hamilton at first. Ground ball left side. There's one. Milam flips it over. Jones holds on, it appears. Yes, sir. 6-4-3 for the second time. Off the bat of Bush. 95 with that 0-2 heater. A liner to right. This is going to be trouble, potentially. And it'll be a one base hit. Schaffner decided not to take any chances with his team trailing by four. Love really? it. Really? Absolutely. And never cooked. It's got to be raw. From the stretch. Swing and a miss. That is a very big strikeout. And right now, with Tommy White at the plate, LSU bats in the bottom of the seventh. He's first pitch swinging. He beats the shift. There was nobody between first and second base. And Tommy White sent one rolling that way. Tommy beat his going to the right side, and Jones is tied up and strikes out. Is uh, actually on in almost a normal shortstop position, and White moves up.
Neal rips it into right center field. This one is going to bounce once, bounce twice, bounce three times and go to the wall. Tigers are rounding the bases. And now the brakes are put on and a throwback and Travinsky is out at third base. As Travinsky rounded third, he went about a third of the way to the plate and then reversed. First off, Neal is just in fuego right now. He's so balanced. Uh, you can just see the body language, the confidence. And he is seeing it big time right now, which is a great sign as SEC play starts this weekend. You see Travinsky trying to get back. And he does. But then right there, he comes off the bag. And yep, he's clearly out. He kept the glove on him the entire time. Hamilton waves weakly. Coleman had him fishing at that sweeper. Well, one inning to this point. Now two innings where the bison have failed to get a base runner. That uh, what we normally call Buffalo is really a bison. And safe at first base, it appears. Yes. This time he hits a one hopper to the third baseman. There's an out at second and an out at first. 5 4 3 on the put out. Style Hamilton and Hake get it done. There's Style again getting it done. And Braswell is thrown out. And the loser would be Leland Wilson, the starter. And there's a quick turn away. The base is empty. A liner to center field. Kling is out there and he's got it. Here's the 3 1 pitch from Javen Coleman. Popped up on the infield, and this should be the ball game. Braswell backs up. He waits for it to descend, and he's got it, and the Tigers win. So after being held to one run in their last game in the Xavier series, LSU scores two in the second, one in the third, one in the fourth, and one in the fifth, and one in the seventh to win it by a six to one score after yielding one in the first.